All right, so here we have the Demon 2 board. And I opted to go for, um, with, the, with, the, with the Demon 2 board, you have the option of using um, Chrome, Neptune, don't remember the other ones. But I opted to, to, um, to get the Neptune RPT. Because from the read up that I had done, it's one of the it's less expensive one and um, and it's one of the more stable softwares out there now I didn't choose to go to the Honda Auto for two reasons one it's more expensive and two I have a tuna tuna view, tuna view 2 <laughs> screen that um, that I'll be using um, in my car to as, as my gauge cluster so um, if I was to use uh, the, the hand data board, I'd, um, there's an additional piece that I'd have to buy and I just wasn't about that life. So here we have the, um, this is a Demon 2 board in the anti-static bag. So here here you have um you have two areas in which you, you you'd be able to to connect to the ecu um but with using this one now you're gonna have to modify the um the box if you were to use a mini usb mini usb slot you'd just have to have the box open or still modify the box and run the wire out um there if you go on the 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 HRT HR tuning site they they give you the instructions they have some videos and they give you some instructions on on um on where to on what to do and how to do it so I am going to take a chance today usually I just have Sully Sully Motor do this for me I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to give it a shot the kit also comes with um, um a chip kit so if it is that you didn't have an ECU that, that was already socketed, they actually give, um, give you the components to, to chip the ECU. Here they have um, a, capacitor, an up, uh, a capacitor upgrade, which they advise you to change this capacitor as this capacitor tends, is a capacitor that tends to go bad inside the, the ECU. Get, this is going to be the data cable. These are the two data cables, but I think I'm going to opt to modifying the case and using this one. It may look familiar to some people as, yeah, you remember that this is like um like a cable on a printer or such. And we got some stickers, pen, and a screwdriver. Nice. All right, so let's get into the box and try and modify it and and install this we start off by using a heat gun to get the solar back in a fluid state then use a solar sucker to clear the solar from the area the reason a solar iron isn't used in this instance is that as you use the iron on the solar area the circuit board will draw some of that heat in turn making your desoldering less effective. With the area clear, I'll now insert the socket and solder it to the board.
All right, so now I'm going to change some settings in my tuner view. This is the screen that I'll be using. Display so that I can see my temperatures and such. So software is already downloaded. Plug it in with the USB. Start up program itself. You see it's a connecting, it's connected here on the, on the computer. So anything I change here on the computer, it will, it will show. Using demon. Mm. All right, so here, Put it that's using a Neptune R RTP system. Um, let's do a preview of the page layout. All right, so these are what I set it to to see at this moment in time. RPM, your fuel ratio, battery, um, engine cooling temperature, and speed. So any changes I've made so far, I'm just gonna program it. Right, and that's that. Close the program. Disconnect. Now here you can see three ports on the back of the tuner view, and each of these ports have a. They all connect to um, the ECU, but they are all wired a different way. Now according to the to the wiring up of this the tuner view gets its data from the cn2 port on the on the ecu now starting from the lower lower port which is labeled con1 that is that that would be plugged in directly to the ecu con2 would be for a situation like mine where you have a neptune rtp s3 honda to s300 or a k pro then you have con 3 which is this up the top which is for a daisy chain setup now if you look closely here hope you can see it if you look closely here there is some writing on um on each of the pins at the head of each of the pins and for the cn2 port it's labeled rxo 5 volts txo and ground now you use your port based on your situation so if it's a case where where you're just going to um plug the, the pl have it read directly from the cn2 port all you do is plug it into into con one but it doesn't stop there you can you, you have to also ensure that each pin corresponds to the pin that is on your board now a problem that i ran up into as i i had used this um this screen both direct to the ecu and to the neptune and aside from configuring it um the, a problem I, I ran up into is is a pinout now with the CN2 port um, on your ECU each pin is a specific specific place and then you're, go, you're going to have to look on the back of this and have each of those pins correspond to that so it's not really just a plug and play there may this be the situation where where you might have to deep in this plug and match and and match the the the, the pins that so that's the rx the five volts tx and the ground the rx and the tx is um is information in data in data out right so you have to if if it is that you don't have them pinned out have it um pinned out correctly um you you will run into problems where the screen will just turn on um you might see it look dim or it might just read connecting here you can see i have 
I have four, seven, seven displays here on this screen and I have this as my primary screen. Um, these buttons up here allow you to go to scroll through the screen back and forth. So if I press this screen here on the next page, I'll, um, I can only see RPM and map sensor readout. And you can choose whichever scale you want, um, PSI and, and um, inches per mercury, or you can go in bar. Um, on my next screen, I have a large RPM display. Um, so you have the option to also see a single readout, whichever readout it is that you'd like to see. Here I have my speed readout. Um, this is boost. Here we have RPM um, as as a bar. So as the RPM goes up, it will fill these bars. And I didn't put anything on that page. You can get to see your, your peak values, duty cycle, TPS position. Um, all your previous, and you can all you'll also be able to clear to um clear your check engine light if it is that you ne needs be.